I wouldn't mind living out there. Out in the hills. Good morning, guys. It's Friday. I want to do a 12 hour challenge today, I believe. I've never done a challenge on my channel. I want to work 12 hours today. Right now it's 7.04. I'd like to go till 7 p.m. And I got myself a very nutritious breakfast. <laughs> I went to, hold on one second, I want to see what this uh, HEB offers. Oh, it's not too bad. Fifteen dollars, one one and a half miles, fifteen items. I actually might do this one. All right, we're gonna accept that. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go to H E B to start the day for Instacart. Fifteen dollars. There's fifteen items we have to shop for. But I was saying, I got a nutritious breakfast from 7-Eleven. I got two slices of pizza, and I got a Celsius. When you're in a hurry, you just want to start the day, that's kind of what happens. Normally I go to like McDonald's and get myself a sausage McMuffin and I get like a coffee at a coffee shop. But that's not in the cards for today. We're gonna grind. 12 hours. We got for our first grocery haul of the day. Everything's at your door. Have a great rest of your day. So it's 8.10 and I've made $15. I missed a $36 batch from H-E-B on Instacart. I'm so mad. My phone is so slow. Oh my gosh, I saw the notification. I clicked on it and like my phone just froze. I hate this phone. I, I, I got a brand new phone. I upgraded or so I thought. I downgraded, like it's slower than my last phone, which is three years old. My old Samsung, my three-year-old Samsung is faster than this Motorola. Kind of pisses me off. So yeah, that $36 bash would have put me at 50. I probably could have knocked it out by nine. So 25 an hour, my first two hours, that would have been great. Bummer. Also something I learned, um, Shopping at HEB, their, their self-checkouts are really, really bad. I'm gonna take this Starbucks. $8.19. It's going down Lost Creek, so it's it's gonna take me a little while. I'm just gonna do it anyways. All right, we'll, we'll do this, we'll be right back. I accidentally stole out my DoorDash app on, so um, it gave me a $4 Chick-fil-A, but it's only going half a mile, and it's kind of on the way to uh, my Starbucks dropped, so I'm just gonna dirty up. I, I hate that that happened, so, um, yeah, I paused orders after this delivery, um, and, oh, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, with the HEB self-checkouts, uh, they're really buggy, like, they're the worst self-checkouts, I think, of, of any self-checkout in a store, period, like, they're terrible. They think that I didn't bag like every single item when I, I did, I, I did. So like after every single item I have to do like skip bagging even though I bagged it. It's crazy, it's crazy. And then um, they they, had, they uh, froze my transaction and they like called an associate over and she had to like put her ID and password in. They like froze my transaction. I don't know if they thought I was trying to steal or something. It was, cr it was nuts. So. Uh, note to self, never go through HEB's self-checkout ever again. I'm just going to go through a regular checkout line. That's That was such a painful experience. Run me over. Yep. Hey, it's on camera. It's funny. Good job. On camera. I feel terrible for the Starbucks customer on Uber Eats. That took forever, that DoorDash. Oh my god. I hate dirty stacking. Yeah, that's the problem with DoorDash when you're multi-apping. If you forget, if you get a request on Uber Eats or Instacart or Grubhub or any other app, if you forget to turn DoorDash off, it eventually will go off. The app will go off. And if you're a Platinum driver, that's going to hurt your account stats and put you that much closer to losing Platinum. So 
I had to accept the Chick-fil-A order and just dirty app. I feel terrible about doing that. I really don't like, I don't feel it's ethical. I just don't. Um, so yeah, we're on the way to the next one. And I'm gonna try to multi-app a little bit cleaner. That way I don't have to do what I just did. A nice view in the rear view mirror. I don't know if you can see that. We got another Instacart. It's pretty similar to the first one I did. 15 items, 20 units. It's a bit of a drive though. It's a seven mile drive, $16. Uh, I just wanna try it. I'm probably gonna end up regretting it. It'll take 45 minutes to an hour, right? It's, it's okay, I'm gonna, Today is a long day. I'm gonna grind for 12 hours, so even if I start out poorly, I think it'll all add up in the end. It'll still be a good day. Not a bad order. It took me 13 minutes to shop, so we'll see how long the drive is. Yet another Starbucks run. This is like number four of the day. I've lost track. It's almost $7. I think a little over two miles. I'm not sure where I am money-wise. It's not that good. $9.53. I know I'm over 50 after this order. Probably close to 55. Very, very subpar, but my minimum goal for breakfast is to at least make $50. So even on a crappy day, if I can do 50, that's cool. Cause I could probably do a hundred dollars for lunch. And if I have to stay out to like, you know, the middle of the afternoon to make that 200, I will. Today though is that 12 hour challenge. So I'm gonna stay out till seven. We'll see how we do today. Hopefully we can at least make 250. Here's the view I have from my Starbucks drop-off. It's kind of nice, right? Uh, nope, we're not doing that Uber Eats. They just gave me a junkie offer. Just give you a little pano. Oh, oh look, there's a dust storm. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'm just kidding. There's a construction site. Um, the soil here in Austin is like, it's like a clay, kind of. It's a mix between limestone and then like the further east you go, it's, it's, it's a clay, I'm like on the east side. all that stuff. Three boxes of sandwiches and like chips and it's a massive order. It's a lot of food. It's really heavy. I don't like to be negative guys but here I am with this small catering order and my point of contact is not answering the phone and the door to their office is locked so I just have to wait. More time lost just for a $24 catering order. This happens a lot and it's mostly Zifty. I, I don't really have issues on Deliver That. It's Zifty orders. I, I, I have a bone to pick with them.
We're at Costco. We got two orders to shop for in this batch. Uh, I think it's like 15 items and 25 units. Shouldn't be too bad. So here's my shopping cart from Costco. A little bit more than I thought. Guys, I gotta be brutally honest with you. It's almost 1 p.m. or six hours into the day. And if all the tips come through, I'm only at like $101, just over a hundred bucks in six hours. That, that's kind of how my week has gone. I'm not gonna lie to you. So that would put me at like 825 on the week. I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling. So yeah, I don't think I want to work 12 hours today to maybe make 200 bucks. I, I just don't think we're gonna do that. I might try to get to 150. Uh, if it's not gonna take me 10 hours to do. Um, it's just been really hard. It's been a hard week for me. I hope it gets better. I really do. But it's been a hard week. And I, I'm just trying to stay positive. I'm not trying to be negative. But it's, I'm ready to tap out. wallowing in self-pity over how bad of a day and week it's been, I did get a good <sighs> apple run on Uber Eats from the mall. We're going downtown, it's paying $26, it says one customer. So I'm like, you know what? I might be down in the dumps, I was headed home, but I'm gonna do this order. Let's make this money. We gotta hand it to him. So even though I'm not doing my 12 hour challenge because of how horribly bad today has been, I still want to get 150. We got an Instacart batch. It's going downtown, shopping from Sam's Club, uh, five miles, $16, a whole bunch of fruit. Take a look at my cart of fruit. That is their order. Isn't that crazy? 10 pineapples, eight. Six two pound things of strawberries. And it's just as I suspected, we're delivering to an edible arrangements. So we're in the parking garage and we're gonna deliver through the back door. Someone's motorcycle is on the back of this tow truck, huh? Interesting. So yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna do a couple more deliveries tonight and let's see if we can make like our beer money, right? That's the plan. One big old bag of $75 dog food. This one's gonna be $14 for just a few miles. I didn't get to film the last one, but uh, the guy met me at his door. He was really appreciative, kept saying thank you. I love customers like that. Good, really good run. Like, I think it was two and a half miles for $10. There was a lot of food. I don't think it's gonna go up, but still a good tip for that kind of run. I'm not seeing offers like that on DoorDash, that's for sure.